Welcome to Real Reviews. This is fair warning. <laughs> We're reviewing the Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. And it's known that I am a huge Marvel fan. Yes. And he is a loves his DC. <laughs> so maybe listen to me more. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he might have his blinders on. <laughs> oh no. Uh, this movie, Wonder Woman, it's been it got real traction. The closer it got to release, you know? Yeah. People saw footage, they're like, but they're still a little skeptical because lots of people don't like the past uh, forays that DC has done. Yes. The Suicide Squad and Batman for Batman Superman, Superman and Man, Man of Steel. Steel. Yeah. So, it was kind of like a... It was on the fence. It was on the fence, yeah. For sure. Footage came out, looks good. <laughs> but we've been duped before. <laughs> but then it got hit by... the Critical praise. Ooh. Holy smokes. Everybody's like, this is, movie's amazing. Blah, 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 yada, yada. But I'm like, I'm still not going to believe it. I was gung-ho from the start. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> Suicide Squad, you know, Batman versus Superman. We've talked about it before. We've debated it before. But I, I've said Wonder Woman will be the official start. That they're getting their kinks out. <laughs> now Wonder Woman, it's up here. We got Justice League at the end of the year. And then Aquaman next year. Yes. Marvel might as well pack it in. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> on to the topic at hand. Yes. Wonder Woman, what a fantastic oh. movie. My God. Okay, so the start of the movie, uh, excellent. It, it shows Themyscira or Paradise Island. It shows uh, the queen, she's telling uh, a bedtime story to Diana, a, a young Diana. She wants to train, she wants to be an Amazon, she wants to help mankind. She's told uh, from her mother in these stories that they were created by Zeus to help a uh, man when Ares shows up, the god of war. So from a young age she's had these illusions that, you know, we're here for one purpose. That's that's to, to save man. So it shows her gradually growing up, secretly training with her auntie, who is the best fighter on Themyscira, the yeah. general. And then, lo and behold, Chris Pine shows up. It's World War One. Man finds the island. Yes. And all of a sudden, these Amazons get thrown to World War One. It's a conflict. Ares must be behind it. Yep. That's what Diana Wonder Woman says. He, he must be behind it. It is my job. I need to go fight Ares and I need to stop him and stop this war from happening. And Gal Gadot doesn't speak much English. She's, she's Israeli. <laughs> she was so good in this movie. She, like, I don't know if this is how my dad and how the older guys felt with, like, <laughs> Linda Carter. But uh, Gal Gadot, like, I'm in love. Like, she, she is the perfect Wonder Woman. This is, not to, like, just say, oh, she's a, she's, she, like, she's a good actress in this movie. She's a perfect Wonder Woman. She is Just the look. She the has look. that look. She's beautiful. Yes. Like, you just kind of tilt your neck. Oh, man, <laughs> she's pretty. <laughs> so but not to take anything away from her no. at all, because, like I said, she was charming this movie. Mm -hmm. You just loved her. It was heartwarming. Her performance everything her and chris pine yes like care can you talk about charismatic the both yes. of them together and separate on the screen you just love those two characters you see this different wonder woman in uh, batman versus superman she ba she comes in and she swoops she's in hardened. she saves the day she's yeah. hardened she's, she's like, hardened you she chumps get out of my way i'm gonna take care that's of this. right so in this film you see a more naive diana you see this diana who leaves the mascara and she is so compassionate and full of love. She wants to save mankind. So she, you know, she talks to Chris Pine's character and she's like, get me to the war. I will end it, I'll find Ares. The one scene that almost didn't even make it into the movie was the <gasps> no man's land. No. And this is the greatest, I thought, like the greatest scene of the movie. This is the best part about the movie because Chris Pine is uh, a spy, he's a soldier. He's like, we can't help these people. Like right. we have a mission and she's like, people are dying. He's like, it doesn't matter. Tugs on the heartstrings. He's like, he's like it doesn't matter. This yeah. is our mission. She's like, well, I'm no. helping him. And she it's just enough. get. She gets her water on the guard. Yeah. She runs out there and she fights. And so she's, you know, these bullets, bullets are flying. Are off her shield and you're just like. The guys rally behind her. Up. Yeah, she's rallying her. Even the crowd in the audience, she's like, yes, like, yeah, go, Wonder sure. Woman. That's why the, the best thing about this movie, you're behind her 100%. Oh. And you're behind Chris Pine. You're like, should she be doing this? Right. And she does. You're just like, yes. Go, 
go Team Wonder Woman. Chris Pine's character, like uh, Steve Trevor, he it's funny because there's still that dynamic where he's male and he wants to protect her. But she is yeah, just this warrior she, princess she does that not does not need, need protecting. But I think emotionally she does. That's For sure. He he's trying to protect Physically, her, yes. Of course he's not. trying to tell her, like, Ares isn't real. This is this is man. Man is corrupt. And this is what we do. And he's trying to tell her this. She doesn't believe him. And so you get to the third act. And this is where it... To me, it kind of falls flat. Unfortunately, this entire movie is on the scale. Up, 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 up. I think it's the whole act three, you know, trap that most movies fall into. This movie, this movie, and then they're like, how are we going to, you know, resolve it? Oh, we're just going to do this and this. Where they just kind of fill it in. And I was like, ah. See, I didn't think that at all. No? I was like on the edge of my seat. But I'm not going to take much away from this movie, honestly. Like, it was almost like... Uh, this is one of my favorite movies of the year, if not my favorite. Like, Logan was good. This was better, I thought. <laughs> and the only thing I'm going to take away from this movie is, I guess, I think we said once that Gal Gadot, I thought, maybe delivered a couple lines. There's a couple they lines where I was like, eh. Fall flat. And some of the special effects, like some of the times when they're, she's flipping through the air, I was like, it looks a little phony. That's all the only bad things I'm going to say about this movie. To me, in the special effects, that it doesn't bother me because Wonder Woman, as a character in the comics, she's equivalent to Superman. She has that flight. So obviously when she's sailing through the air, and there's a lot of it, yeah. uh, to me, uh, it's just part and par with the movie. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Like, could they have been a little bit polished, a little bit better? That's what that's Maybe. like to see. That's Maybe. my slight complaint. But, oh my God, go see this movie. You go, uh, yeah, y'all want him to rate it first. Because like I said, he's the DC guy. I'm the Marvel guy. Uh, for me, uh, like a hard nine. Like I would love to give it a 9.5, but like obviously this is where we're nitpicking. Yeah. But yeah, nine for sure. Easily. Easily. Easy. I agree. It's a nine. <laughs> like if you're any kind of superhero fan, this is one of those movies where you don't have to be. You don't have to know... Any other DC movies no. to go see? It's like when The Dark Knight came out and everybody's like, man, this is just a good movie. It's one of those things. Like, I think the direct, like director Patty Jenkins really just hit the head where she was like, okay, we're going to set it in World War I. And I, right away, my initial, I was like, ew, I hate World War movies. And it was perfect because she doesn't have to tie into Superman, Batman lore. It was strictly about Diana. And that's what Ace, like this movie's mm. aces for that reason, right? So... It's a wonderful movie. You need to go see it. I have nothing bad to say about this. Would you, like, kids? No. What would, would you not. recommend it for? Uh, I would say maybe 10 and up. Just because World War One is some heavy themes in it. Mm -hmm. they, they don't need to know that kind of stuff, I don't think. A little bit of the Me sexual personally. tension, the jokes as not well. Yet, yet. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like, war is a heavy, <laughs> it's a heavy thing, people. We all know that. <laughs> Uh, so go check it out and go check out our Facebook page and if you do that and you like it or if you like our Wonder One review or start a chat with us in the comments, ask yeah. questions, thoughts, anything, any one of those things get you entered to win a $10 gift service to Perkins Family Restaurant and Bakery and stay tuned next, next week. I imagine it's going to be The Mummy, the start <laughs> of a new universe, the Dark Monster Universe.